my dogs are drinking out of a mud puddle. I'm not going to drink out of a mud puddle. But what I do notice is something very interesting. And that is that there's no mosquito larvae in this mud puddle. My suspicion is that's because, why? I think there's other biological activity going on in there for some reason that discourages the mosquitoes from using it. But if I leave out a bucket of water, they will lay their eggs in that. And that's actually a method of mosquito control. It's the most efficient method of mosquito control that I know of, the most non-toxic, the easiest. And that, we'll call it the Chinese method because I know they did this in China a long time ago. Chinese are very smart people a long time ago. They had civilization when Europe was still grunting around its own shit. And uh, so, one of the ideas that, I mean, I just read this. I don't know what Chinese people did a long time ago. I wasn't there. But um, you would leave water out on purpose to have the mosquitoes lay their larvae in it. Now that the, the, the eggs that they laid make the little larvae, whatever. And, uh, and, then, and then they dump it, killing all the babies. It's mosquito abortions and, uh, or infanticide or something. Something that sounds bad for mosquitoes, but good for us. Because we murder the hell out of them. We give them this great place to have a baby, and then we kill their babies. Sounds pretty bad, if you put it that way. Really bad if you're a mosquito. But I don't have mosquito ethics, and I don't like mosquitoes. So, I mean, they're the, like the biggest disease vector in the world. They're the one species, if I could kill them all with a snap of the finger, I might do it. Even though some people would say, I'll throw that whole ecology of everything off, and it's like, it will adjust. I mean, mosquitoes are a factor, but there's others, and if something has to have mosquitoes to live, well, that can die too. I don't care. You know, stuff has died before. We don't miss the dinosaurs. Those all died out. Actually, I kind of miss dinosaurs. I think it'd be cool to have a few around. I like the Jurassic Park idea. And, uh, yeah, I think that can be done. We should bring the woolly mammoth back, bring back the dodo bird, we could even bring back like the most ancient humans. Uh, like what's the oldest human DNA we've ever discovered? Uh, could we clone that? Could we make a new one of that type of human? Or other Homo sapiens who we don't relate to as well. Wait a minute, it wouldn't be Homo sapiens. It would be Homo Neanderthalus something. Neanderthal. You're not supposed to say the H or something. Is there an H in there? I don't know. Maybe there isn't. Uh, Homo hobbit something from Indonesia or somewhere in there. Hobbit person. I think we've discovered, what, five apes that we are now? We could reproduce them all if we find the right DNA. I don't know the answer to that question. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, man, I don't even know. Whew. Yeah. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>